Good evening. I'm Clarice Tinsley. Denton police responded quickly after cell phone video was posted online of a taser incident involving one of their officers. Back up! Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look, man, she need help, bro. She need help. And this is the video that started the controversy. It was shot yesterday at the Motel 6 on Fort Worth Drive. Police were called there about a naked woman carrying a baby through the parking lot. She was on the balcony when police got there. The man who was tasered had just handed the baby to someone else and was trying to get to the woman. While police were yelling for him to get back, the young man who shot the video says this is what he heard. And he was just like, he was like, man, we're people, we're people, you know, we're, I'm, you know, I'm innocent, I didn't do anything wrong. And then I guess like the lady, she was still getting, you know what I'm saying, manhandled on the floor. And she, just one thing led to another, all I know is the dude got tased. The man who was tasered, Marcus Coleman, is charged with interfering with public duties. The cell phone video has been retweeted more than 13,000 times. Many of the responses are critical of how police handled this incident. That prompted Denton police to put their own video in the public eye. Fox Force Natalie Solis is in Denton with that part of the story. Well, Clarice Denton started using these body cameras on their officers about six months ago, and this is the first time that they're going to release video from the body cams. You're going to see video from three different officers' cameras, and police say it's incidents like the one that unfolded here at this Motel 6 yesterday that really highlight why these cameras are so important for police work. You'll hear the beeps. Those beeps are letting the officer and people know that the body camera is still rolling. Body cameras capture police as they first make contact with a woman naked aside from a blue blanket. The caller said she'd been pacing the parking lot holding a baby. The officer tries to get her to explain what's going on for the next eight and a half minutes. But police say she's uncooperative, despondent, looking past them, and appears to have an altered mental state from drugs or alcohol. You're out here with no clothes and you shouldn't be. That's why I know something's not right. Police say she continually looks over the balcony, at times talking to someone down below who isn't there. They're worried she might jump. They kept thinking that she may try to end up hurting herself. Um, that is why they took her, tried to place handcuffs on her for her safety. <laughs> As she's screaming, another officer is trying to keep 26-year-old Marcus Coleman back. Back up. I'm not going to keep asking you. Back away. Back away. I'm going to take you. Back away. Back away. Police say they told Coleman to back up 30 times. Back up. Coleman goes toward the officer who has 20 plus years on the force and he's tased. We need to get it out there. We need to let the people know that he didn't follow the commands. We aren't just tasing people to tase people. All three of those officers did an exceptional job. The president of Denton County chapter of the NAACP was invited to the news conference by the police chief. He says Coleman was a good Samaritan trying to help but crossed the line by not obeying commands. He says people were ready to protest. I said, wait, let me see. Let me ch check it out. And after seeing the body cam video, he told them to stand down, even talking to Coleman's mom. So I explained to her what actually happened. And she says, she said, thank you. Well, Marcus Coleman, as we mentioned, was charged with interfering with public duties. He is still sitting in jail. Now, we've tried to contact uh, somebody at his home but, or somebody else in his family have not been able to reach anyone. Uh, police say, though, it is still unclear exactly what the relationship may have been between the woman and Coleman. Uh, she was not arrested, so police will not be releasing her name. Clarice. Natalie, that woman was holding a baby. Do we know about the baby, where the baby is? Right. Well, that child was taken into CPS custody and police also tell us that after Coleman was tased and that woman was subdued, police say a three year old then walked out of that same motel room naked and wet. They went into the uh, to the room. They found the shower running with scalding hot water. Uh, that three year old, we are told, is also now in CPS custody. That child, both children unharmed.
Clarice. Okay, that's good news. Natalie, thanks.